Well, good morning, YouTube and my 112 subscribers. I hope y'all are having a wonderful weekend. Uh, blessed Sunday. It is, uh, this is William from Williams, Philippines, and it is uh, July 7th, Sunday, at about 4.30 in the a.m. here in the Panhandle of Texas. And I really do hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Uh, didn't get much done yesterday. I just went home and went to sleep. Woke up and was up about an hour trying to do a couple things and went right back to sleep. Maybe an hour and a half. And then slept until 10. I'm actually rested. Uh, could I use a little more rest? Yes. Friday was quite draining, <laughs> but hey, I got to spend some time with a dear friend, so yay, and recovered mostly today, or well, last night, today, whatever, you know what I mean, anyway, I got some rest, I'm actually feeling pretty good, uh, I'm going to try to actually get out and do something today when I get home. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do right off when I go from here is go put some gas in the tank. Apparently, I've run the limit. My little light came on and said, fill me up. So, I need to go put gas in my car. Then go home and break open the garage door and mow the front yard again. It's growing like a weed around here. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it's that kind of thing going on right now, but that's what it is, you know. We get... Uh, little bit of rain and yeah everything turns green and we've had enough rain around here to actually make everything green and growing like a weed most of my backyard actually is weeds or at least it seems like it uh, front yards mainly you know grass good grass is growing quite well but it is what it is anyway just got through uh, dealing with a uh, fairly busy night here at the hotel. I'm sold out. Well, I have one no-show that's got a room that's empty. Everything else is pretty much full. I did like, in an hour and a half, I did 16 rooms. Uh, which basically means I was knocking out a room every six minutes or less. Yeah busy night <laughs> it's a good one though and got a lot done uh, actually ended up selling I think uh, 22 rooms out of the almost 60 we got so I had a very productive night for my boss he'll be quite happy he's always happy when we sell out it is what it is Got to keep pay, keep the boss happy so we can make a dollar and have profits and, yeah, make him want to keep me around for some strange reason. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's see. Uh, yeah. I was watching a guy over there talking about, you know, can you live on uh, 500 a month, I think, or 600 a month? there in the Philippines and yes you can the question is do you wanna well I'm not gonna want I don't think I want to live on 600 800 yeah and I, I'll be able to do that when I get there might take first couple of months will be kind of strange but I'll figure it out always have I mean hey I've been doing basically here for well, was doing for fifteen hundred where I'm living now. Actually, I was doing for fourteen hundred there for a while, and then started making a little more money and paid off a few things and was able to live better on fifteen hundred. And well, now I'm up to sixteen hundred, but I'm getting to put a lot more of that toward paying off debt. Uh, yeah, student loans are going down. All my credit cards are going down, with the exception of the one I put a couple things on. But 
they're going down and yeah I'm able to pay things off I rescheduled my uh, house payments I was making 500 a month on it but now the way I'm doing it uh, I'm down to well 398 and I'm paying 450 on it so constantly dropping that and yeah I'm ahead on my regular bills so right now yeah it's I'm paying off debt I'm getting out of the hole climbing up out of this thing quick and every time I get rid of one that just puts more money that I don't know if you uh, know who Dave Ramsey is but uh, yeah he's kind of the guy that says do the snowball pay off your small one keep it going keep paying it off and yeah I'm snowballing mine down and it's working uh, got my car paid off got the you know got that took care of got the loan extra loan out and it's gone got a credit card done I'm working on another one it's gonna be gone soon yeah and then pretty much I take and do one more credit card and one more uh, or two student loans and well I'll have one of those done uh, here probably September and then uh, that money goes toward the other credit card and bound it out and continue paying on the student loans a little extra on them too yeah I'm slowly pounding them down and by the time I get out of here next year well I might still have some student loan right when I get ready to leave here but I'll clear it and when I leave here I'll be debt free to head to the Philippines I'll even have my uh, credit cards clear and everything paid off and carry cash with me not as much as I'd like but enough to get, at least get a partial start over there and get things figured out and yeah uh, it's a good thing oh am I so ready to go though <clears throat> I really want to get there soon but yeah uh, I will definitely be out of debt and like I say, I've been pounding away at it on a regular basis for quite a few years trying to get that way. And I am quite happy to be where I'm at. <sighs> Debt's not fun to deal with. I got to take and get out of it as best possible. It is what it is, though. Anyway. <sighs> I've been, you know, planning to get over there, and, boy, I'm seeming, you know, every time I think about it, the better it gets, the closer I get, the happier I get. Only thing that could make it better is if I got to leave right now, but I'm not going to shoot myself in the foot to take and do that. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to eat my principal to do something stupid and fast. Got better things to do than be stupid and fast. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, watching things over there. Uh, that Kulas uh, becoming Filipino. I guess he's finally getting married. Yay! Congrats. Uh, I pray that works out real good for him. And yes, uh, there's you know a lot of folks seem to be getting married over there and doing things. Old Paul been married about a year and a half now. Yay. It's working out good for him, apparently. 
he was he did a show about is he being a hypocrite because he oh yeah married bought another house for his wife and seeming to be doing these things he said he wasn't planning on doing <laughs> well I can understand getting your life changed you know I'd been planning on you know selling my house here and buying a pickup truck and a travel trailer and just dragging it around the US now I'm leaving out three years early yeah, I was gonna do that when I got my house completely paid off and so yeah I was planning on selling the house buying a travel trailer and dragging it around yeah that changed so yes things do change instead of dragging a travel trailer around with a pickup truck I'm gonna go to the Philippines and I don't know I still got that idea about turning one of those uh, 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 Carabao uh, commuter ones into a camper I'm serious I, I see that thing and I'm like I can do this and then just go be a beach bum this is a good idea I don't know still got to get it figured out but that's for when I get there at this point uh, that's just far up in the future and uh, something to start throwing ideas at and planning for maybe but really it's something to put on the back burner and let simmer for a while right now the front burners cooking off this debt getting it took care of getting things taken care of for me to get there that's why I've managed to get my you know passport and get the paperwork that I need taken care of mostly there's still a few more things I went by the farmers market on the way home this morning well can't really call it on the way home because it's eight miles out of the way but I went by the farmers market and did that oh one of the little ladies there waved some chocolate chip cookies under my nose Got them for five dollars instead of six dollars. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, yes, I have a bad habit of enjoying good food, and her chocolate chip cookies are dang good. She also has uh, oatmeal raisin. yeah just saying and I'm on a diet I've been a bad boy oh god they're so good yeah I gotta start holding my ground standing my ground I gotta keep my diet. I gotta get back on it and get real serious about it again. You know, <clears throat> I really need to <clears throat> remember to keep my shoulders back, my chest up, and my head up. <sighs> Posture thing. It's no fun though. Too many car wrecks, too many bike wrecks. That's why I'm in such horrible shape. That and the fact that I was a frame carpenter and yeah. Too many wrecks, falls, trips, and spills. It is what it is. But I'm trying, when I stand up, I do a better job at, you know, keeping my posture straight. But 
these chairs don't help. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was uh, watching another video from uh, Millennial Legends guy about fishing. Oh, yeah. I might have to try to catch up with that guy and go drop a hook with him. Simply because, well, it's always good to have somebody to fish with. So, I might have to catch up with him sometime. Not like it's, uh... Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of islands in the Philippines, but guess what? It's only 40% the size of Texas. Not near as many places to hide. <laughs> but, yeah might have to try to get in touch with that guy and see if he wants to go fishing because I sure do I like fishing I'm ready to get over there and I had uh, one of my guests tonight uh, uh, I mentioned that I wanted to go fishing and that uh, they'd caught a you know big tuna uh, and he says he'd heard about that big 900 pound tuna <sighs> yeah I'm ready to go fishing. And the only fish we got around here, yeah, sun dried, sun baked, burnt by the sun. Just saying. Texas High Plains Desert. Anyway, I hope y'all are having a blessed day. And if you're over there in the Philippines and fishing, may you have a monster week. I hope everybody has a real good week fishing. <sighs> hey, and if y'all go out there and catch a 920, 940, 950, 980, 1,500 pounder, yay! I want to hear about it. <laughs> anyway, William from Williams, Philippines. I'm fishing. Hey, fish is out.